This video, I'm going to show you how to be as if. This is a process that is much more powerful than what people do acting as if. I'm going to show you how to use it and how this will change your life. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to be as if, how this process is more powerful when using the law of attraction than acting as if, and exactly how to apply it. So this is something that I've come to understand the more I go through transformation in my own life. I look at the many different versions of me, the different versions of me from the reality, my inner reality, how that was matching my outer reality. And I had a certain inner reality when I was working a nine to five job that I was not passionate about. I had a certain story that I told myself that was on autopilot about how I related to other people, about how I could or couldn't do my passion for a living, how I was waiting for things to happen. There was a certain narrative there. There was a certain inner narrative that was creating my outer reality. Now, when I look at that version of me to then the version of me that just simply decided that I was going to make a video a day and how that changed my self image, how that changed what I was doing in reality. I was taking more action, doing what I was passionate about, but that changed my identity. It changed the way that I saw myself and any transformational change that you will see in people will have to do with some change at the level of the identity the self image, how we see ourselves. And for many people, think about it. There's a story that you tell yourself about who you are, a story about how you might have to go to a nine to five job that you're not passionate about, a story about how people treat you in relationships or how people take advantage of you. There's a story that you have about every different area of your life that you may be totally unconscious of, and then imagine the story of the version of you living the kind of life that you love, getting the kind of respect you deserve, getting the kind of results in life that you deserve. Well, the stories of these two versions of you are different. And the stories have embedded inside of it the beliefs about who you are. Now, one of the ways of bridging these two realities is doing a process that I call be as if. Be as if what I did back in February, 2017, as the story goes, and as I've explained in many YouTube videos is I simply decided that I was a full-time YouTuber. I wasn't a full-time YouTuber yet. You look on the outside and do say, dude, you're working, you're working a nine to five job at Barney's New York. So women choose. That's your reality. What do you mean? You're a full-time YouTuber, but I changed my inner reality, my inner dialogue. And I simply went beyond, it was acting as if at first, but being as if is an identity change. Understand that the current identity you have is just something that's on autopilot. It's something that you have been telling yourself over and over and over again. And therefore it continues to go on over and over and over again. And the more you cling to your story, the more that will be your reality. Yes, but people treat me this way. Yes, but I have to work this nine to five job. How am I going to pay the bills? Getting involved with that kind of thinking keeps you locked in that reality. And all of your thoughts, all of your emotions, all of your actions are going to be equal to that inner reality. So being as if is about identifying that the current identity you have is something that you've built based on your identification over what we call the past. You may have decided in your past, this is who I am. This is the kind of person I am. This is the kind of way I show up in the world. At a certain point in your past, you decided that this is who you are. Somebody told you when you're a kid that you're meant to be seen and not heard, which is something I was told when I was a kid. I started to associate pain with expressing myself because I'd get shut down. That's who I am. No, at a certain point in my past though, I agreed that that's who I was unconsciously. We do these things unconsciously. Because growing up, we just absorb the belief of our parents. We absorb what our parents tell us we are. We absorb what our environment tells us. If we get embarrassed at a school thing, I know I had experiences in school where I'd get embarrassed of certain things. And in a moment I decided I made an agreement that this is who I am that remained on autopilot until I became aware of it. 
So realize the thing I'm showing you right now with being as if is I'm showing you that your current reality is equal to the thoughts, the emotions, and the actions you have been taking and the way that you see yourself. And it's been, un you've been maybe unconscious of it. So it's been running itself out over and over and over again until this point right now where you become aware of it. So let me ask you a question. What is your current self-image? What is your inner dialogue? How do you relate to other people? What are the consistent thoughts, emotions, and actions that you are taking every single day? Every single day within 24 hours in a day because your 24 hour compounds over time. Now the difference between acting as if and being as if is this. When you are acting as if you are fake, you are being a phony, you're acting. The most amazing actors become the characters themselves. Lior and I recently went to go watch that movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which is a Quentin Tarantino movie. It's an, it was a really good movie actually. Very well done. And when you see Leonardo DiCaprio acting in that movie, which is funny because in that movie he plays an actor. So it's kind of like Inception. It's like acting in the movie and you see him and he, in almost all the roles that he does in different movies, he doesn't act as if. He's not acting. Just like Jim Carrey has said before that he doesn't really act. He becomes the character. Becomes the character. Be as if. It's a level of identity. There's a certain part of the movie when he's talking to this little girl who's like this, she's like eight or nine or 10 years old. And she's like this really smart girl that's acting in a movie that he's in. He's in this Western sitcom movie thing. And the girl was, this little girl was talking about how she doesn't break character. They were on a break. He was smoking a cigarette. She was reading a book and she wouldn't break out of her character because that was good practice. That was her way of staying in that state so that she's on point when she goes back into the movie. Now, that in many ways is something Jim Carrey talks about a lot as well. He had a movie that where he was, uh, there was a documentary on Netflix about, it's called something about Andy. He played some Andy, Andy Kaufman. He had a movie where he played Andy Kaufman and he became the character where even offset, he was still pretending to be him. And he said that in a way it was a very, it was a channeled experience. He wasn't acting, he was being. And when you are being as if, you are coming at it from the being level. It means you are present to the moment and you are not doing it to get some type of end result. This is the major difference between being as if and acting as if. Acting as if is you are acting, which first off in of itself is fake. It's with the realization that that's not who you are. You're trying to become something you're not. You're not whole and complete already. You have to become something else by acting. But being as if comes from a present moment awareness. An awareness that your old identity is something that you've built, that you decided is who you are, so it becomes easier for you to let go, and you simply decided you were going to be in the frequency of this version of you. Now, normally the way that we think is we think in time, space, reality of linear type thinking. We think, first I need to do this, then I can eventually get to here, and then I'll eventually get to here. It's past, present, future. We think of it in a linear type way, which is the way we've been taught our whole lives to think. Now, the power of being as if is you aren't doing this over here to then get over here so then eventually you can get over here. Being as if is with the awareness that this is who you are. It's coming from the being level. It's a different level of identity and it's an acceptance of the present moment. You aren't doing this to get somewhere else. You're not trying to escape the present moment. You're not doing something to then escape the moment. Being as if is a level of awareness that it is you. And it's coming from a present level of awareness. So being as if comes from the being level, not from the acting level of trying to wire in something that's fake. The being level of realizing that the more you are present to the moment, the more you're embodying your core frequency. Now, the other thing, is the being level is your core frequency. When I make videos, I am not acting as if, I am being myself. I love making YouTube videos. This is who I am. The more powerful than me 
acting as if when I was trying to go full-time on YouTube was that it changed my identity. I became somebody that could make daily videos. I became somebody that developed a better work ethic and I became this version of me that's just passionate about what I do every day. But what really had the powerful effect was the being as if, because it changed my identity. Acting as if assumes that eventually you're not going to be that which you are. I'm going to act as if I'm, I'm going to act as if I'm a millionaire. I'm going to walk around my house and visit as if I'm a millionaire. And I'm going to act as if, act as if, act as if. But when you do eventually become a millionaire, you are no longer acting. You are. So stop acting as if trying to get somewhere you're not currently are and accept the present moment for what it is. Accept the present moment, knowing that this is who you are. And as you relax in that identity, eventually your outer reality will begin to change because your outer reality is just a reflection of your inner reality. But the more you emphasize that it isn't who you really are is the more you emphasize that lack of identity, the lack of the being level. Now here is a practical, pragmatic way you can go about this. You have a 24 hour in a day. I mean, everyone has 24 hours in a day. At least that's our perception. Everything really exists here and now, but our perception goes through 24 hours in a day. Let's say eight hours of that is you sleep. I sleep like maybe six and a half, seven hours a night. Some people sleep eight or nine hours a night, whatever, eight hours of sleep. Now that means you still have 16 hours of other stuff to do. Now, when I talk about being as if, what I highly recommend you do to start to get to your core frequency is you start to ask yourself the question, what are you passionate about? For me, that was making daily videos. And even though I had a certain story and narrative that I had to work a nine to five job, I was working 40 hours a week. I still made time for three, four hours a day to make daily videos on YouTube. I would make a video, edit a video and schedule the video to go out the next day. I would do that every single day from February, 2017 until August of when I was able to quit my job happened much quicker than I thought I could have quit months earlier, but I was playing it safe. So what I did though, is I simply made it my full-time job to become a full-time YouTuber. So I spent hours every day, no matter what doing it. Now here's the power in your 24 hours a day. What I recommend a lot of people do is you do whatever you're passionate about daily. I started doing daily videos. I've done daily videos, over a thousand videos in a row, over a thousand days in a row. I've done daily videos. Why is it easy for me to do that? Because I'm not acting as if I'm not trying to get somewhere. I'm currently not. I'm being myself. I'm being who I am. It's a level of identity change. It's only hard for you to go to the gym consistently. The first week that you go. For me, it's very easy because I go to the gym every day. It's who I am. What do you mean? Do I have to will my power to go to the gym? No, it's part of who I am at the being level. I am is being, I am. Who are you? Are you passionate about what you're doing? Do you want to be a full-time content creator? Do you want to be an artist? Do you want to, whatever you want to do, you can do. Stop telling yourself a story that you can't be that already, that you have to have this rule in your mind that you have to first act as if then eventually you can get the kind of job that you want. That'll eventually reaffirm that reality for you. And then eventually you can give yourself permission to be go straight to being be that, which you desire, knowing that as you embody that state of consciousness, your outer reality will begin to change. Most people take the long route though. They'll act as if they'll then look and peek to the outside to say, does everyone else agree that I am this person yet? And then if people aren't giving them the validation, they'll continue to try really hard. They'll imply more resistance and they'll continue to keep that narrative going over and over and over again, instead of just giving yourself permission to be now. I just chose I'm a full-time YouTuber and every, there were people on the outside that did not they're like, if I would have told that to, they'd be like, what are you talking about, bro? You still working a job at, you know, doing what you've always been doing. Remember I had a group of friends that I'd always go chill with. And there's always a couple of friends. I know when I was telling them, they're like, what are you up to? Oh, I'm making daily. I'm doing videos on YouTube. They go, yeah, you still doing that. You're still doing that. Good for you. 
It was a certain mentality. They may have not believed in the reality that I was projecting, but I didn't need them to. I didn't care because I knew that I had a strong belief in myself and that that was all that mattered. But most people look to the outside for validation. And if you do that, you may find that you become much more brittle. It's much easier for your, your cards to fall down. Don't need the validation of other people. Don't act as if. Act in as if implies that that's not who you are. When you go to your vibrational frequency of who you are, that is the key. Most people are gonna act as if because they think it'll make them more money. Money is a side effect of the value you add to other people. Money is a side effect of you doing what you're passionate about. You doing what you're passionate about is adding value to people. Because that state that you're in is contagious. It influences everyone around you. Even now, I got friends that may look at what I do and they think it's cool that I've been able to live the kind of freedom I do. And even then, they may say, I don't agree with what you're doing. I don't agree with the, the esoteric stuff that you talk about. But they like the fact that I do what I want and they like the fact that I am myself. And it inspires them to do what they want. I've had friends reach out to me that have their own dreams of doing things and them seeing me go through this process has helped them. So it doesn't always have to be a one-to-one -one reflection of how is this adding value to other people, but it does. But stop telling yourself a story that you aren't currently that which you want to be. Stop looking to the outside for validation. Start looking to the inside because the outside is just a reflection of the inside anyways. Hold your frame for the inner reality dialogue that you have. Shift your inner thoughts, your inner emotions, and your inner actions. And as you decide that this isn't what you do, this isn't acting as if, this isn't trying to get somewhere you're currently not, this isn't, this isn't projecting a false reality, it's not something you're going to do for six months and then you're going to be in that reality, it's something that you can just simply decide that you are that version of you now because you are changing at the level of identity. And when you change at the level of identity, everything in your reality will begin to change. So being as if 24 hours in a day, identify at least two or three hours where you are in your core frequency. You are doing something you're passionate about. You don't know what it is yet. Cool. Set the intention to find out and be aware of what happens in reality. Be aware of where you get signs and start to follow those intentions when you begin to see signs of it. Do those every single day because it will compound over time. You're, if you master your 24 hours in a day, you will master your life. Because every day it's like Groundhog's Day. And if you make a choice that you are going to be in your core frequency for a couple hours a day, over six months of that, you'll be in a completely new reality. Because it compounds. It becomes more and more dominant in your life. That's why I'm a firm believer that if you treat your side hustle like it's your full time, it will become your full time because of vibrational resonance. You are mastering your 24 hours in a day. And that powerful frequency overpowers the other parts of your day that you're not passionate about because it's a higher vibrational frequency. So the key to this is being as if, knowing you are doing this from the being level, you are present to the moment, you're not doing it to get somewhere else, you're doing it because it's who you are. Master the 24 hours in a day and watch how your life begins to change. Now I do have an upcoming webinar if you haven't seen it yet, it is called an on the shift experience. I show you how to shift your level of consciousness, how to shift your beliefs and how to shift at what is called the being level. There is a live activation that we're going to be doing in this webinar. So if you haven't seen it yet in the top of the description box, you can click there, join the next one. I'm excited to see you and help you to create that shift within you. And also if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so that you can see the daily vids that we do. I have a lot more concepts like this coming out where I modify some of the teachings from a point of higher level of awareness. So if you want to see those, the way YouTube does it, you have to hit that notification bell to see the daily vids. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like it if you haven't already. And other than that, as always, peace, much love, and namaste.